Whoa, man, I'm talking about, whoa, it's top water time, folks. In the fall, there's not a bait made that's better or more funner. That's not even a good word, is it? Funner. That ain't even a word. Than top water baits. And there's a lot of them, whether you're a beginner or a novice, there's a lot of different baits on the market. I'm going to say this, and this is a fact. If you're a beginner, prop baits like this old devil horse right here, a tiny torpedo, baits like that are the simplest to fish when it comes to top waters, in my opinion. And the reason is, once it hits, the, once you make that cast, let the ripples die down, just like all top waters, pop it once. Leave it alone. Pop it twice. Leave it alone. You'll get strikes. And a lot of times they'll be unexpected strikes. I tell you what, another great bait. This used to be my go-to bait when I lived in Florida, if I can get it out. But one size bigger than this, and that's an old jitterbug right here at night. Now, the deal is on these baits right here is to paint them black. Now, at night, on a calm, calm night where, where there's no wind at all, this bait right here, if you'll retrieve it, a steady, slow retrieve. All you want is just a plop, 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 plop. Bass will kill it at night. Don't stop it, just a steady retrieve. That way that bass can keep in track where that bait is at all times. They'll knock it out of the water, folks. And it's, uh, it's a bait that's not used too much. The only thing about this bait right here at night, I'll change those hooks out and put larger and better hooks. Okay, I'm not knocking the hook, but in a way I am. A lot of different baits to throw. Uh, Zara Spooks. Oh my goodness. Well, here's a good one right here. My Spooks is in my other box, but I do have some Zara Puppies. They're hooked together right there. Small Zara Spooks, all it is. Now, that bait right there, when the water's real calm in the fall, dead calm it walking the dog with that bait right there once you master walking the dog which there is a little technique to it um i'll have to show that to you but if you've never fished with a, a zero spook fish will kill it in the fall no doubt and the big ones well a lot of times they'll knock a big spook out of the water when the bait hits, the fish will jump on it again for the second time. They will attack a spook in that way most of the time. But what I'm trying to get at is if you're a beginner, buy different baits. Because all these baits have different sounds. And one sound will get more bites one day when the other sound on a good bait that you'd found won't. It's a little bit strange, but bass are that way. You never know what sound they want, but sound is that important. I hope y'all enjoy the video. Woo! Wee! <clears throat> Woo! I'm talking about... Woo! There we go. Little bitty fish, folks. But we broke the ass right here. I want a spinner blade. Now look at there, what an ugly fish, Mama Sue. <laughs> at least it was a bat. <laughs> Found us a shoreline right here, folks, that the wind's hitting on. Right in the middle of the day, kindly overcast. Now I've been fishing these trees and rocks and whatever. And we caught us a skinny bass, which something tried to get his tail right there. Look at there. 
day. All right, Mama Sue, it's your turn. Well, I hope so. Well, when this cloud cover comes back, you're going to catch one on that whopper plopper sometime this evening. But right now I'm throwing a 3-8 spinner bait right here. This is a War Eagle spinner bait, 3 eighths of an ounce, and I'm throwing a, a silver and gold blade with a white and blue skirt. I got a trailer hook on the back of it right here. And I'm using a piece of 12-2 insulator to keep my hook on right here. That way, that way this hook will follow straight behind that spinner bait at all times. In other words, if I, with a straight retrieve, if I was to stop it and let the bait fall, well, this hook's going to be right in line with this other hook. Hard to miss a fish like that. Hard to miss a fish, but right now it's a little bit hard to get on the back. We anticipated more cloud uh, cover than what we got right here. So that's what we're hoping for. A little more cloud cover, maybe a little rain, but uh, I'm gonna just keep working with these trees right here. A little bit. And I'm keeping this bait in vision right now. Keeping those blades, I'll let it fade down to where I barely see it. That's how I caught that first fish. Not much of a fish, but it was a bite. It could have been a big one. There we go. Golly. That fish got hung up in that tree. He ain't very big. I thought he's a big fish. I guess that trailer hook, let's see how he's hooked right here. Mama Sue's hung up in the tree. We wanna go back and get it. But let's see what happened there. Yeah, the trailer hook, I threw over the tree. Ow, 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 don't do it. And the trailer hook hung on a limb. And plus I felt that little fish fighting and I said, uh-huh, there's a seven pounder. Well, he is, look at there, folks. I'm gonna put him real close. Let's let him go. Yeah, that good Sue. That, that baby's hung up in that tree. She does. Squirrel meat. Squirrel meat. It ain't squirrel season yet. <laughs> what? You ain't never eat squirrel dumplings? Okay. Hope there ain't a hornet's nest up here. Ooh. Let's get out of that tree. Tell y'all a little story, folks. I, I done the same exact thing one time. And there was a big wasp nest up in the tree. And them things stung me so many times I had to jump out of the boat. Sure did. They eat me up. You gotta watch for them. There you go, mama. All right, let's catch another one. There we go. That's a little better fish right here. A little more like it. Unless I got him foul hooked. No, he's... Well, at least he's a couple pounds there, Mama Sue. I tell you, you may have to... Oh, it ain't... He ain't that big. He's a good one, though, compared to what we've been catching. He helped me right there. <laughs> yeah. You may, I may have to tie you a spinner blade on, reckon. Yeah. yeah. They're kindly hitting it. Sure. Got a little too much of a ripple right here for top water. That one's eyes is a little bit, a little more farther from its tail. Yeah. That's a pretty fish right there. Yeah, I'll tie you a spinner bait on there. Mama, see you? Mm. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's let him go. That's a nice fish. Them top waters will work a little bit better this evening, probably.
Get him. That's a good one, ain't it? <laughs> Look at her, folks. Look at her. Now, be easy now. Let him fight. You ain't got to. I'll have to lip that one. I'll have to lip that one right there. Oh, we'll just do this right here. That fish nailed it, didn't it? <laughs> Ooh, that scare you? It sounds when it's late in the evening like this and calm, it sounds like a M80 going off, don't it? That's a good one, Lisa. It does. It certainly does. You gonna let him go? <laughs> yes. I mean, it ain't. We're not catching big ones, but we're having a lot of top water action. Oh, they are so green and pretty, like an emerald green. Yeah. I heard that go off, and I said, "What in the world?" <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Let's catch another. There we go. Right there at the boat. Man. That little fish hit with some power right there. Where are you going, boy? Come on back here. That's how much line I had out, folks. About four feet of line when that fish hit. Now that uh, that's an arm jar. Jar or pretty good little bass right there. Mama Sue's fixing to catch one now. I, I want her to. Y'all cross your fingers and see if she can catch her. <laughs> A bass fish. All right, let's let him go. Changing up a little bit what I'm doing right here. I'm fishing a flat out here and we got some shad on this flat. So I'm just fan casting, covering as much water as I can. Is all I'm doing right here. Looky here. He ain't big, but I got my got him on the devil's horse. That was a bait that I fished a whole lot when I was a a young lad. Now he eat that thing. Come here. That is an old old bait right there, folks. We're just mixing it up right here devil's horse i got a white one and a yellow one when i was a kid i had all all the colors but now he just demolished that bait let me get my pliers and get him off man oh man first second cast with a devil's horse one of the all-time great baits We can get him off. Pretty little fish. Let's let him go. Come on back, boy. Whoa! That's the good part of it. I'm talking about. Whoa, let's see if we can do that again. I'm liking that. Got him? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Have you got him or has it got you? <laughs> I don't know how good I got him, but I got him. You got him. Let me get him off for you. He hammered that, didn't he? Yeah, he did. <sighs> there you go. Little bass. Nothing big today, but oh, they destroy them top water baits, don't they? Him's pretty. 
Look at that. You see him. He ain't very big, but I got him anyway. He jumped out of the water, then jumped on top of the bait. He did. He ain't bad, though, is he? But that fish, actually, folks, come on in here. He's a chunk. But he, he jumped up like a dead blame mullet in salt water. We ain't got mullet here. And right on top of that bait. The devil's horse. He might have thought it was going to fly away, so he's going to sure it didn't. Yeah. Well, we'll have to get her pars. Get him loose. I bought this devil's horse at uh, Academy Sports in Gadsden, Alabama. I actually thought these hooks was cheap, but they, they're good hooks. They hold. My, my, my. Top water day. Fishing with Mama Sue. Woo! <laughs> Let's let him go. <laughs> you hear that echo? <laughs> Going in there. That's pretty good fish right there. I thought he was smaller than that. And there's another fish or two right out in front of us. We seen them bust a shad. Or a bluegill, I couldn't really tell. Probably a shad. But I'm just popping that bait once. Twice. Once. Let it sit there. I ain't no telling how many big bass in Florida when I was a kid I caught with a devil's horse. We didn't have a big selection back then. We had a devil's horse, Dalton Special, oh my goodness, Nippadiddy. If y'all can remember Nippadiddy, that's an old, old bait. Hula popper, bait types like that. <clears throat> But that fish was right about right in there. And he's pretty decent. Well, folks, we're going to let it go. The moral of this story is, okay, take you warmer and fishing. Uh, if you got a good warmer, take her fishing. If you don't got a good warmer, you'll make a good warmer now over by taking her fishing. Okay. I want to thank y'all very much for all the great comments everything y'all do y'all know the drill hey woo dog oh, gone can you feel it woo and remember go fishing when you can because it's good for you